So today we are going to discuss the last part of the DNA damage that is pyrimidine dimer formation. Okay, so in the previous classes we have discussed various other mechanisms of uh, DNA damage like deamination, then uh, alkylation, then reactive oxygen species mediated DNA damage, uh, all those things. So today we are going to discuss about pyrimidine dimer. So before going to pyrimidine dimer, just a recap what we have seen in the last few classes that is what is DNA damage? It is the physical and chemical distortions of DNA we have seen and because of the DNA damage uh, there will be the complete arrest of the central dogma that is replication, transcription and translation and uh, we have discussed the classification based upon the mechanism of the damage that is deamination that is the removal of amino group, alkylation the addition of alkyl group, oxidative damage the damage created due to reactive oxygen species and today we are discussing about pyrimidine dimer. Okay, so deamination we have seen adenine deaminated and it will give hypoxanthine, then guanine, I mean cytosine will give rise to thiamine, then uh, guanine will give rise to xanthine, all those things we have seen the mispairing that is the uh, change in the or alteration in the base pairing property we have discussed. Uh, so alkylation we have discussed in detail, so we will just uh, skip all the slides, we have discussed enough uh, uh, alkylation process, this is the uh, replication cycle, how if a base gets damaged, how the replication cycle, how the transition or transformation happens, we have discussed in the previous class. Uh, uh, we will directly go to the pyrimidine dimer formation today. Oxidative damage we have discussed uh, and pyrimidine dimer. So, what are all pyrimidines? Pyrimidines are nothing but uh, what are, what are the two pyrimidines we, we have discussed or pyrimidines, three we have to say in case of RNA, uh, there is uracil also, there is, uh, so it is cytosine uh, and thiamine, majorly in case of DNA and in case of uh, RNA it is uracil. So pyrimidine dimers, what are pyrimidine dimers which are for the molecular lesions, okay. So these are the lesions which is found in the DNA between the two adjacent thiamine or between the adjacent th uh, cytosine because pyrimidine means it is not only see we always discuss about thiamine dimer because it is most frequent one that is why we are discussing but it is not true that only thiamine dimer will uh, occur cytosine dimer will not occur cytosine dimer will also occur only thing is the frequency is very less so these are all nothing but the molecular lesion formed from thiamine or cytosine bases in the DNA by photochemical reactions or well, light mediated, mediated chemical reactions will target or trigger what uh, the bond formation between adjacent thiamine or adjacent cytosine that is called pyrimidine dimers. So the definition goes like this pyrimidine dimers are the molecular lesions formed from thiamine or cytosine bases in DNA by photochemical reactions. Okay. So, we told about photochemical reactions. So, how the pyrimidine dimers are triggered exactly is ultraviolet radiations are the inducing agent for this. Okay, UV radiation which is produced, which is the major reason for what the pyrimidine dimer formation. So, this ultraviolet radiations which induces the formation of covalent linkages between the bases, which are all the bases that is nothing but the thiamine thiamine and cytosine cytosine, it will create the covalent bond. So, it absorbs the light, which light it will be absorbed, it is around 230 to 280 nanometer that is UV light will be absorbed. Okay, so whenever a light is absorbed, what will happen? There will be a transition of energy from ground state to excited state or excited state to ground state. So there is an energy transfer because of this particular energy transfer and energy exchange. What will happen? There will be a covalent bond formation between adjacent thiamine and adjacent cytosine, which will result in what the pyrimidine dimers. Okay. So, when the, so all of you know the structure of thiamine and cytosine, right? So, we, we are mainly discussing about the thiamine dimer. I just told you that cytosine dimer also can be occurred. Only thing is the cytosine dimer formation is much, much lesser. The frequency is much, much lesser comparing to the thiamine dimer. So, in the previous classes, we have studied how to write the structure of thiamine. What, what are the two exocyclic functional groups of thiamine? One is 2 comma 6 keto and 5 methyl. In the second and sixth position what will be there? Keto group will be there and the fifth position methyl group, group will be there. So, the adjacent thiamines what will happen after absorption of the UV radiation, okay, there is a transition of energy that is a de de delta E. Delta E means the change in energy. So, because of this what will happen? There is a covalent bond formation between two thiamines which is present in the adjacent region of the DNA strand. Okay, so when it is combined together, see initially the thiamine were independent 
and after the absorption of the radiation what happens the thiamines are coupled together through a covalent bond so there are two types of reactions can can occur so two types of products will be produced once the uv absorption is uh, done by the nucleic acid thiamine and thiamine is coupled okay which is which will be coupled and it may give two types of product one product is cyclobutane pyrimidine dimers that is called cpds you can see in question papers in three marks cpd cpd is nothing but cyclobutane pyrimidine dimer okay and the second one is 64 photo product we will discuss what is a cpd and what is 64 photo product so this slide explains that after absorption of the uv radiation what will happen the covalent bond formation will happen the bond will result in two types of products it will be either a cpd or it will be a 64 photo product or both in a particular dna okay so cpds are nothing but cyclobutane pyrimidine dimers okay so this is the uh, structure of thiamine okay you can see that in the second position uh, there is a keto group okay in uh, in the sixth position there is a keto group this is the sixth position okay uh, and the second position there is a uh, keto group and the fifth position that what is there a methyl group is present so another thiamine which is there in the same strand you can see that keto group is present in the sixth position okay and uh, uh, this is nothing but uh, a cytosine which is which is uh, mentioned over here this is the uh, thiamine and this one is what a cytosine okay so a thiamine cytosine bond form uh, uh, dimer formation which is mentioned over here so i was talking about thiamine thiamine dimer but here in this diagram which is mentioned it is a thiamine cytosine so what is the uh, uh, structure of a cytosine cytosine contains uh, in the sixth position what will be there amino group will be there so this is the amino group that is in the sixth position and the second position there will be a keto group okay so this is the structure of what a cytosine a thiamine cytosine bond formation or the dimer formation is shown over here so how this uh, bond is produced see the first one this is nothing but what you are uh, uh, thiamine and this is nothing but cytosine which is present uh, adjacent to each other in the uh, dna stretch because of the absorption of the uv light and the transition of energy what will what is happening a covalent bond is produced between these two okay a covalent bond is producing between the thiamine and cytosine okay so once the covalent bond is produced you can see that you see five six fifth and sixth position of cytosine fifth and sixth position of what the thiamine this will be combined together right so how many carbon is combined together here you can see here carbon number 1 carbon number 2 carbon number 3 carbon number 4 so how many carbons are there there are four carbons are combined together here so if you have four carbons together it is called what butane okay one carbon methane two carbon ethane three carbon propane four carbon butane so it is in cyclic in nature so that's why it is called cyclobutane ring okay butane means it is containing four carbon and it is a cyclobutane ring that's how the cyclobutane i told about the two different sort of products one is cpd that is cyclobutane uh, cyclobutane ring is produced okay it is nothing but a cyclobutane pyrimidine dimer okay that's what happened over here that is adjacent carbons are joined together in case of thiamine and cytosine this can happen in thiamine thiamine also okay instead of uh, thiamine what uh, instead of cytosine if you draw one more thiamine here it will become what thiamine thiamine dimer so instead of thiamine if you draw one cytosine over here it will become cytosine cytosine dimer okay totally it is a pyrimidine dimer so as a result of the pyrimidine dimer the first photo product why it is called photo product because it is a light reaction photochemical reaction so that's why we are mentioning it as what photo product so what's the photo i mean this is the first type of photo product that is cyclobutane ring formation what will happen the adjacent thiamines are joined together okay so i will show you a video regarding how this joining happens and what are all the consequences of that later okay so see you just imagine in a stretch of thiamine and cytosine is there which is coupled together through uh, a covalent bond what will happen the dna will stretch in itself uh, uh, into these two different bases so because of that a stress will be created in the dna and the total dna integrity will be lost so that's what the uh, consequence we will discuss that later so now in this particular slide you just understand this is nothing but a thiamine this is uh, uh, sorry i uh, will go back to that particular slide uh, this is nothing but what a cytosine the due to the absorption of the photo photons that is nothing but uv radiation what happens there is a dimer which has been produced that cytosine and thiamine has been coupled together through a covalent bond and the product is nothing but 64 photo product 
okay the second one is uh, sorry this is uh, the previous one which i told is cyclobutane ring why it is cyclobutane ring you can see four carbons so carbon number 1 carbon number 2 carbon number 3 carbon number 4 all these things are combined together so because of that it has been it has produced what cyclobutane ring so second uh, product of this uh, pyrimidine dimer is nothing but 64 photo product it's very simple so what is this particular base so you can see sixth position what is there sixth position what is there keto is there second position what is there keto is there fifth position methyl is there so definitely what is it it is nothing but what uh, thiamine okay and th what about this particular base this particular base you can see that sixth position keto is there okay so uh, the second position keto is there which has which is not clear over here so here in the fifth position you can see one methyl group is present so if methyl and keto group is pre uh, pre uh, present together it is called what it is thiamine so there are two different thiamines so there what happens four different carbons join together and it has produced what cyclobutane ring so here the sixth carbon of one thiamine and the fourth carbon of another thiamine will combine together it produces a covalent bond so sixth position of one thiamine and fourth position of other thiamine it is called 64 photo product this is happening due to what the photochemical reaction so this is called what the 64 photo product clear so due to the absorption of the uh, uv radiation there are two products are possible one is nothing but what a cyclobutane ring formation and the second one is what 64 photo product so what do you mean by 64 photo product the sixth position of one carbon will bind into fourth position of another carbon so this will produce a dna lesion so that is called 64 photo product okay so this is what uh, the uh, pyrimidine dimers so when a pyrimidine dimer produces in the dna so it is a very uh, uh, common case uh, due to the absorption of uv radiation due to uh, so many chemicals all those things mainly it is a physical um, uh, mutation so mainly the uv radiation so the pyrimidine dimers will be produced so this usually corrected within seconds by photolysis reactivation or nucleotide excision repair i have already discussed in detail in another uh, session that is what is photo reactivation mechanism and nucleotide excision repair mechanism even though just to recap i will show a video regarding this so what happens so usually it will be corrected by two different mechanisms what are all the two different mechanism photo reactivation mechanism or nucleotide excision repair mechanism okay so if at all if it is not corrected uncorrected lesions which which will inhibit what the dna polymerase means it will uh, inhibit replication process and uh, which cause misreading due to the uh, during the transcription and uh, replication means the central dogma will be completely affected okay so usually when this pyrimidine dimers are produced what will happen it will get repaired it will be rectified what are the two important mechanism involved in this one is nothing but the photolysis mediated that is photo reactivation mechanism and another one is what nucleotide excision repair mechanism okay so coming to the pyrimidine i just told you that i will show you a video regarding how exactly the pyrimidine dimer formation which happens and it how it will be cleaved we will just have a look of that For example, ultraviolet irradiation causes covalent bond formation between adjacent thymines on the same strand of DNA. When DNA is damaged in this way, it cannot be replicated or transcribed. Most cells, however, are able to repair damage to DNA. For example, an enzyme called photolysis can break the covalent bond between the thymine dimers. This enzyme requires visible light which is used as the energy source for bond cleavage. Hence this mechanism is referred to as light repair. A second repair mechanism involves an enzyme that excises the damaged segment from a single strand of DNA. This process is termed excision repair or dark repair and does not require visible light. The excised nucleotides are then replaced by DNA polymerase. DNA ligase forms the final phosphodiester bond. Okay, so this is what happening in the photoreactivation mechanism. If you want, you just have a When look once again. When cells are exposed to sunlight, radiant energy can damage the DNA. For example, ultraviolet irradiation causes covalent bond formation between adjacent thymines on the same strand of DNA. When DNA is damaged in this way, it cannot be replicated or transcribed. Most cells, however, are able to repair damage to DNA. 
For example, an enzyme called photolyase can break the covalent bond between the thymine dimers. This enzyme requires visible light, which is used as the energy source for bond cleavage. Hence, this mechanism is referred to as light repair. A second repair mechanism involves an enzyme that excises the damaged segment from a single strand of DNA. This process is termed excision repair or dark repair and does not require visible light. The excised nucleotides are then replaced by DNA polymerase. DNA ligase forms the final phosphodiester bond. 